The issue of missing persons in India is complex and deeply rooted in our social and economic realities. At the social level, many disappearances are linked to domestic disputes, family pressure and mental health issues. Children sometimes run away after being scolded by parents or due to stress related to studies. Women and young girls, on the other hand, often go missing because of marital conflict, abuse or coercion. Economic factors play a big role too. In poorer communities, people, especially children, are more vulnerable to false promises of jobs, education or marriage. These vulnerabilities are often exploited by human traffickers who lure victims and transport them across states or even borders for forced labor or sexual exploitation. Human trafficking remains one of the biggest underlying causes of missing persons in India. States like West Bengal, Odisha and Rajasthan, all located along major migration routes, have reported large numbers of missing girls, many of whom are later found to be trafficked. Despite government efforts, the conviction rate in trafficking cases remains low and coordination between states is still weak. That's exactly what the Supreme Court highlighted, the need for a national level coordinated effort to trace missing persons. For more such data-driven insights, follow Dataful on our digital platforms.